What's going on, good people? It's your boy, Twin Zinc. Straight off the press, there's no intro music, none. I'm jumping right into this conversation. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, I just had a young lady jump in the DM, have a, a great, healthy dialogue conversation. And it had it started with the, um, it had something to do with the Colin Kaepernick releasing uh, his book or publishing, whatever it was. And... The only thing, only thing that was brought to my attention is that Colin Kaepernick used a woman on the front cover of his book that he's putting out. Which me personally, I didn't see any problem, but the young lady who I was speaking to felt that was a problem since the woman, black woman, is the most uh, victimized and all this in the system. But if you look up your records, when you look at the, the, uh, the Department of Justice, the men is higher ranked not by far but the black man <laughs> is the more likely to be victimized across the board right so we had to debunk that but i think the main issue that i want to talk about is this um you know black man this black man that whatever he should have used he should have used a uh, man instead of a woman since the woman's this xyz let's be clear ladies and gentlemen the biggest black group out right now, as far as black people overall group that's out there right now, is Black Lives Matter, which is one of the biggest groups that we have for, technically for us, right? Black people, right? And it's ran by three women, and they're very successful. Even though I have my own personal gripes with them, but I still rock what they're saying, which is Black Lives Matter, which is a fact. But even though they don't really focus on black men, that are alive. If you're a dead black man, you get all the publish and all that stuff going on. But this is not what we're talking about right now. Um, the point I'm trying to make is this, and I had this conversation with Miss I Speak Life on this, uh, the real, the real deal versus how you feel, which is on stereo app. To listen to the full conversation we just had yesterday, which is Wednesday. Today's Thursday, so yesterday we had this conversation. How that we had two, we had two, we had the momentum. We had a momentum in America where we could have had we could have made big changes in America, big changes, right? We had the contract for Black America, and we had the Black Lives Matter movement, right? And the problem is that we as Blacks we so worried about what the left hand's doing, the right hand's doing, to at the point, guess what? Neither one of us got our foot in the door. The contract for Black America was a great contract. That would have been great for everyone. See, the thing is this. The problem that what what happened was this. <laughs> and like I said, I had this conversation with a young lady. Black women have the most power, power in America when it comes to legal system, everything else. Black Lives Matter, women. Yeah, like Beyonce said, who run the world? Girls, right? Y'all women run the world. Y'all have that much power, right? So well, the point I'm trying to make here is this. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, it was black women who tore down the contract for black America, right? You need to understand this. You say black men need to lead and protect and do this, but when we do something, are you behind us supporting us to get to the finish line? And the answer is no, because the problem is this. I asked one question to this young lady as we was talking through this healthy conversation. It didn't get rude, disrespectful, none of that. It was healthy dialogue conversation. I asked her one simple question. The question was this. When someone say black people, can you tell me all the people that falls in that category? She's going to reply back saying, oh, you don't know what black people is? I said, come on now. We had a healthy conversation back and forth. This answered the question. And she danced around again. I said, cool, you know what? We, you know, if you don't want to answer it, that's fine. I'm not here to get an argument with you, fight with you, be rude to you, none of that. It's cool. We can both have a good night. Great conversation. All love. Deuces. Right? When, you, when I say this, 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 uh, this question, black people, who falls in that category? I can tell you that. We're not a problem. Black men, black women, black kids, gays, the whole LGB community, everyone falls in that category as black people, right? But the problem was he didn't come out and say, oh, we're doing this for black women directly, right? So because Ice Cube, or not him personally, but the whole contract for Black America, it didn't outline saying exactly black women, then that's where a lot of backlash came from, from our black women. And guess what? 
his his run that he had, power that he had, got shut down, right? Because it's like, how come he didn't talk to Black Lives Matter and work with them? And how come Black Lives Matter didn't? We, see, here's the problem we have as, in the black community. We shoot ourselves in the foot. Instead of us both coming together, contract for black America, right? And Black Lives Matter, we can still came to the t- we, we could we, should, we could have came together as one, went in there, worked out we whatever we had to do to get in the office to get to get the power that we need. Because I don't know the next time we'll have this this opportunity in the United States where black people have the power to make a change for the America. And I'm saying this that we have to change because when you look at the presidential race just finished, it who who led it? I tell you, led it. Our black queens led that race. From Atlanta and all over, Stacey Abrams, all that. It, black women ran it, and we got the office. But the problem is that once we got in, once we once we got the person elected who we wanted to, right? What did we get in return? Nothing. That was the whole thing that uh, the contract for America was trying to do. We were trying to use our voting leverage to make sure we get something established for us. See, Trump met with us, regardless. Biden group said, oh, we'll talk to y'all after the fact. We don't want to talk to you now during the whole race. We'll wait to see what happens afterwards. Now, can he still do something? It's a possibility still still do something. But guess what? It's past 100 days now since he's been in office. It's now May, halfway May, May 13th. So we're halfway, almost halfway through the month of May, here in the June, and nothing for us, black people, the one who got you in the office. I say all that to say this. It doesn't matter who's on the front cover of the book that Callum Kaepernick put out, right? It really don't matter. If the, if if your main problem or if, if you have a problem there of why he's a black woman, stop right there. That's the problem we have right now. We keep the book is not even out yet, but already we are having conversation and dialogue of why you put a black woman there, why you put a black man. Does it matter? Does it really matter? Are we going to come together and get behind the book? And I'm not just saying about the book, period. I'm talking about anything that a black man puts out. See, it's a never prime example. Colin Kaepernick is pulling a book out. It is, I think it's, I think it has something to say with abolishing. Uh, I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Give me one sec. I'll tell you right now. Hold on. Do, 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 do. Oh, no, 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 no. Go back to that. I'm going to tell you exactly uh, what his thing said. Okay, here we go. So, Mr. Kaepernick, Colin Kaepernick, big sh- salute to you, sir. It, uh, on the book, it says, abolish the police, close the prisons. But guess what? We're focused on the black woman who's on the cover <laughs> instead of focusing on the message that the book uh, that he's putting out, which is abolish the police and close the prisons. Now, of course, he's not saying close all police stations. No, that it's just trying to restructure and get a reform, whatever. Close the prisons. We, we, we definitely need prisons. But there should be people who are actually doing something wrong should be in those prisons. But guess what? We can't even get to the book even coming out, which is on October 12th. It's October 12th. We're having a conversation about this book that he's, he's a black woman on the front cover. See, ladies and gentlemen, this is the problem that we have in the black community. Before something even get there, we're already destroying it before we even get there. Why are we having a conversation of a black woman on the cover? And mind you, I love the woman because one, it's a black woman. Natural. You don't see no fake hair. None of that stuff. Natural black queen on the cover. But no, we got to pick it. Well, black women are the most abused. And if you believe that, look up the records. Go to the Department of Justice and look up victimization and all that stuff like that. Black men are still above that. But it, it, it's not really about that. It's really about the, how that is for us to move forward in America and be in unity as one. We need to get the, we, we got to just stick together. Forget what is being used as far as where it be promoted. What is the message? Did you even read the book to understand what it was going to? I mean, of course she hasn't because the book's not out yet. But one thing, like I said, our conversation ended shortly because she wouldn't answer the question for me as far as what people fall in our group as black people. Because in the contract for America, Ice Cube didn't label it as, oh, well, for black for our black woman, we want this. Listen, if I read through both agreements, Black, 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 black Life Matters, Agreement they had, contract for America. Read through both of them, love both of them, great things, right? It's going to benefit us overall. Ice Cube has something to hit under, under the police reform section that had um, to eliminate to the no-knock warrant, right? 
Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Without really coming out and saying it, the no the no uh, knock warranty thing was something that was dedicated pretty much to Breonna Taylor. Because that's what happened to her. She was shot and killed with a no knock warranty or whatever. Warrant, not warranty, but warrant to her house. That was designed like it's still it's still a big thing right now. Her killers are still free, whatever. So we when black ladies, we got to stop to try to nitpick something that a black man puts out because once again, this is another black man putting something out that's gonna help everybody. But we're already trying to shut it down because he's a black woman on the front cover. What's wrong with us? We gotta do better. All love, ladies and gentlemen. All love out here. I love my woman. I love my man. I love black. I love us. I want us to be stronger together, unite together, be one. But we got to stop fighting and picking on the small things that really don't matter in life. What really matters in life is life. That's one thing we do have in common. I don't care what group you in. I don't care what religion you believe in, none of that stuff. One thing we all can say is that we all want to live. Big shout to my uh, homegirl, Miss I Speak Live, because we had the same conversation, like I said, on Wednesday on the show, The Real Deal versus How You Feel. Check it out. It's about an hour and a half. We have people calling in and a conversation, chiming in. The conversation got, was a little heated, but it was all love, all respectful. No one got talked too crazy, but check it out. The Real Deal versus How You Feel on the stereo app. It's a free app. Search Twins Inc. and Miss I Speak Life. It'll pop right up, and all of our shows are there, but... Ladies and gentlemen, we need to be better. We got to do better. So thanks for tuning in today. I know I ain't give no intro, no outro. You know, this is something that is hot off the press, and I had to talk about it and put it out there because some things need to be said. We need to stick together and stop causing division of why the woman don't do this, the man don't do that. It, bump all that. We got to work with us. I love y'all. Thanks for tuning in. I'm out. <laughs>